mathematical operation and numeric manipulation in NIFI expression language. If you haven't followed my previous uh, videos, make sure you go and check them. We talked about introduction into expression language, we touched about data type conversion, subject list function, and Boolean logic operators. Now we're going to move to mathematical operation and numeric manipulation. For that, make sure you go and clone this repo and you go to this chapter here language math expression language mathematical operators and you download that template onto your local host and upload it into your nifi instance if you haven't i already done that so what i'll do i'll drag a template onto my canvas and we're going to look for that mathematical operators so what are mathematical operators in numeric so basically uh, this function supports decimal and number types the return values depends on the input uh, types. If either the subject or the argument are a decimal, then the result will be a decimal. If both values are number, then the result will be number. Let's see how this flow looks like. Like in the previous tutorial, all the flows will be similar. We instantiate a flow, we apply the expression language, and then we move all the attributes outcomes to a JSON so we can see it in a single uh, page. Right, so let's let's see what are our, our attributes. We have two attributes here uh, with very plain name, attributes one, attribute two, and we have values of 10 and three. Now let's walk, let's go over the functions we have here. So we have divide, minus, mode, multiply, plus, and random. The plus operation adds the numeric value to its subject. So basically we chose here to add an attribute to another attribute so this is going to give us uh, a value of 13 because you know one is 10 the other one is 3 uh, this one the plus operation receives argument the return type it's number or decimal depending on the input like i mentioned previously now let's go to minus the so minus uh, if you did your math <laughs> it's pretty much subtract a numeric value from the subject and uh, it receives numeric or decimal it returns number which is numeric or decimal depending on the input in our case we subtract from 10 3 so we should get a 7 here now let's go to multiply so multiply it's we're multiplying one value with another so basically this is going to give us the result is going to be 30 same input same output again it receives decimal, it will return decimal. If you receive integer, it will return integer. Next one, it's mod. Performs a modular division of the subject by its argument. So basically, we're going to divide this attribute 1 by this attribute 2 value. So let's go ahead and run this function. We're going to allow one flow to go through. Again, uh, run the expression language and then push all the attributes into a JSON payload and let's look at them. Run a format. So yeah, test plus 10 plus 3, 13. Test random. This will give us I forgot and I think I pulled this. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the random random function returns a random number. Test multiply 3 times 10, 30. Test divide. We're dividing um, uh, 10 divided by 3. So uh, it gives us a 3. Uh, it rounds up the division. Test minus 10 minus 3 equals 7. And test mod, it returns us a value of 1. All right, so this covers up our mathematical operators.